Now I welcome you in this second session of our lecture for IAS and other civil services related to monetary management. We had examined in the first session that what is closed economy and open economy. In a simple word, closed economy means when there is no international trade. This is called autarky. Closed economy is known as autarky. What is autarky? Autarky means this production possibility curve. This is called production possibility curve. This is called production possibility curve. And this is X and Y commodity. X commodity and Y commodity. If this is tangent, this is price line. Price line is tangent to production possibility curve. This is called autarky. Autarky point is E. Autarky point is E. What is autarky? Autarky means Domestic price line is tangent to production possibility curve. Domestic price line is tangent to production possibility curve. And there, this is production equilibrium and this is consumption equilibrium. This is country, country indifference curve. Country indifference curve. U. What? This is in fact most important uh, diagram beginning. What is the beginning? That commodity price line is tangent to commodity indifference curve and production possibility curve Factor, factor price is tangent to production possibility curve. Domestic price is tangent to production possibility curve. This is U, this is U1, this is U2, U0. So country will move from U0 to U1 to U like a difference curve map, like I so want map, like a difference curve map. What we find out that U0 is less than U1 is less than U2. At point E, Production equilibrium. In the economy, economy is divided into consumption sector and production sector. So, production sector equilibrium. Consumption sector equilibrium. Consumption sector equilibrium. If we, this is first, this is first diagram, this is second diagram, and this is domestic price, and this is third diagram. Domestic price PD represents domestic price, no international trade.
if domestic price line is tangent to production possibility curve, this is production equilibrium, this is foundation of economics, this is foundation of economics. When there is equilibrium in the economy, in production sector, then price line, factor price, price line, domestic price line is tangent to production possibility. Production. When there is consumption equilibrium in the whole country, Tend to country in yes, and when both are obtained at one point, attack. attack. When both are obtained at one point, that is known as attack. Attack is a condition where there is equilibrium in consumption and production, both simultaneously at one point. Simultaneously, same time, look here, this is a tarki, and same time, consumption equilibrium is at E, production equilibrium at ET, and both equilibrium gives us the point of a tarki. A tarki means no international trade. No, no international trade. What do you mean by autarky? No international trade. This diagram is the basic of international trade economy. That every country in the first stage, in autarky stage, in every country, the first stage is a tarki condition. When there is equilibrium in consumption sector, and equilibrium in production sector. Both are obtained simultaneously at one point E. Both are obtained simultaneously at point E in the third diagram. First diagram, first diagram is consumption sector equilibrium, second diagram is production sector equilibrium, third diagram is attack. A dark is a situation where there is both equilibrium in production and consumption without international trade, only domestic sector are utilized. Now, a dark is a thing of past. India exports and imports to 192 nations. India imports from 192 nations. India exports to 192 nations. India believes in multilateral trade. India believes in multilateral trade. Now, in UPSC or even in the BPSC, JPSC, everywhere, one question is 
compulsory to write, compulsory to ask, and therefore compulsory to write. Every student prepare for monetary policy. Monetary policy is a hit question, which is known as monetary management in UPSC. And BPSC it is known as objectives of monetary policy. In UPSC syllabus, it is written that goals of monetary policy and instruments and instruments of monetary management, instruments of monetary management in closed and open economy. We now see that in the last 70 years we were not in full open economy. From 1947 to 1991, there was 91 uh, June, there was semi-open economy. Because India experienced during that period controlled economy. There was FERA, Foreign Exchange Regulation Act. There was a high tariff wall created that on any commodity, if you buy from foreign country, 300% subsidy, 300% tariff was imposed. High tariff wall. Simple camera. If you buy here, it, it costs 10,000. If, if you buy foreign camera, 30,000. Its price is 10,000. They are in foreign country. But government imposed 300 tariff so that he, so that Indian camera will be sold in the market. Those you cannot afford. Okay, and that is known as protectionism policy. So there are two types of policy in the world economy. Free trade policy propounded by our father of economics, Adam Smith, and protection policy developed by many economists thereafter uh, in the war period they feel that there is exploitation of the small country by big country. So protection policy was invented by whom? Ask Google. Protection policy was invented by Infant industry argument was cited by supporters of protection policy. Infant industry argument was support. Argument was placed infant industry protection. Ask Google infant industry production. Who invented infant industry? So protection policy against free trade. Infant industry argument. Argument supported by Hamilton. Predict list. Two persons are famous. Yeah. Alexander Hamilton.
two persons are very famous. Protection policy. And Adam Smith, founder of free trade. Founder of free trade. Adam Smith, founder of free trade and protection policy, was supported by Frederick List and Alexander Hamilton. They said they, their argument was free trade means exploitation of underdeveloped country by developed country. So underdeveloped country must be protected by high tariff wall so that underdeveloped country can become self-reliant. Under underdeveloped country can establish their own industry. They can establish their own industry and and development process will start. Industrialization process will start. India experienced this in 1947. India had a large resources of iron ore. But there was not a single iron and steel industry by British government, British India government. At that time, there was industrial revolution in England. Large amount of iron ore resources were exported to that country. But British never thought to establish it in India. Otherwise, India could have developed at a faster rate. When India got independence, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru wanted to establish empire of public sector enterprise. There was only seven public enterprises in 1951. Pandit Nehru said that my Nehruvian model is to produce needle, sui, from needle to ship. Everything will be produced by public sector units. And so, in our country, all industries categorized under public sector and private sector. After independence, when industrial policy 1948, 1956, 1980 launched, every time more emphasis upon public sector. 80% factory, 80% uh, investment will be done in public sector. Only 20% will be in the hand of private sector industry. This has started from 1947, continued to till 1990. This is the main reason that India could not develop at the pace of China. China was pure socialist country, communist country. There, by order, everything is commanded. India is a mixed economy, where market economy will also prevail and government sector will also prevail. We cannot force, we can only induce, because in India there was a planning commission. And planning commission thought to develop India through planning by inducement, through planning by direction. Planning by inducement to private sector, planning by direction to public sector. But what was the fact that there is underutilization of capacity in public sector? Infrastructure was weak. So most of the public sector enterprises were at loss. And growth rate was 3.5 percent. Out of the 70 years, 35 years growth rate was 3.5 percent. That is known as Hindu growth rate. Professor Raj Krishna of Delhi has given this name. Hindu growth rate, 3.5 percent. For three decades, thereafter, Later three decades, 
6.5 percent. That is modified Hindu growth rate. The Hindu growth rate for India growth, India growth or growth of the public sector unit? India growth rate, I am talking of public sector by instrument. 80 percent instrument that and 20 percent private sector. What was the result? Public sector were inefficient. Technology is poor. Utilization of capacity is 40 percent. 60 percent utilization rate. There was no electricity. Today, electricity condition improved. Everyone had uh, utilization of electricity by different commodity. Look here, fan, tube light, AC, all are sold in the market now. But when I was a student, these things are not in the market. If you have a lantern, lantern and a lamp, and depending upon the kerosene oil imported from Saudi Arabia and other countries. So the model selected for our development is questionable. So, to you, sir, during 1947, what is the best model for India suits To utilize all the wealth kept by private sector and utilize public sector wealth for the social works. At that time, you will read in the book, there was Janta, Janta planning. There was a Bombay plan. Bombay plan was prepared by eight capitalists <coughs> of India. <coughs> and they decided to take 80 percent economic activity and 20 percent to give government. And they decided to develop India very fastly on the basis of market mechanism. Pandit Nehru was 100% against private sector. He had a strong conviction about government sector enterprises. He had conception of constant population. He had conception of constant technology. Both conceptions failed. Technology is not constant, fast changing, and population we are, we are number two in the world in the production of uh, population. We are producer of human being and we are inferior. And you are producer of robots. You are producer of virtual things. So you are superior. Sir, so, during 1947, sir, with the lack of infrastructure, especially for the world railways, Nothing is there that time. So according to you, sir, is it possible that during 1947, if you adopt the market economy, will India sustain? Surely, because India could not have, uh, our, our present government had not developed the railway. All railway, whatever we received from Britishers. At that time, you cannot expect to develop at the pace of USA. But at least they will produce those commodities which are demanded in the market. At that time, there was demand for slate to write ABCD. I, I don't think that you have seen slate. I said, I write them. This disappeared because producers are not producing that because it is low thing. So at that time, the, the mixture of 80 20 was not uh, good. That, that is the main thing. I am not telling that government is not doing. India, large number of people are free riders. They never pay for train ticket and use every day from Mokama to Patna, from Patna to Ara, Patna to Gaya, and say that I am local. They keep pass also, but some of them may not keep pass, then they will be considered as free riders. 
we believe in getting food grants at a low rate from the government and government should pay a high price to the farmer. This dichotomy, you want to take rice at 3 rupees or government wants to sell to the people 3 rupees. Large number of people